close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to keep your mind with the body, with the breath, all the way in, all the way out. Don't go running off someplace else. You want to bring the mind and the body together on good terms. We you want peace in life. And it has to start inside. And if you, your mind and your body are not on good terms with each other, if there's no harmony between the two, then there's conflict inside. And that conflict then tends to go out and infect your relationships with people around you. So try to bring some harmony in here. In other words, you stay with the breath, watch over the breath, and adjust it so that it feels good. Don't force things too much. If you force it too much, the body's going to react. But if you leave the body alone, okay, then the body's going to be abandoned. So you want to keep them together on harmonious terms. Once you've got some harmony inside, then it's a lot easier to find harmony outside, because there's not that sense of conflict, irritation inside. And so why should you go out and create a lot of trouble outside? <clears throat> the reason people create a lot of trouble outside is they don't have much inner peace. Peace has to come from harmony. Harmony has to come from justice and fairness. You want to be fair with the body. At the same time, you want to be fair outside. This is one of the reasons why the Buddha teaches the precepts as a basis for practicing meditation. If you've been unfair with other people, killing, stealing, lying, Okay, when you sit down, you've got a mind that's been doing that kind of stuff. It's at conflict with itself, because its its normalcy is not really at normalcy. It's been doing things that are outside of normal. As the Buddha said, sila not only means virtue, but also means normalcy. You want this to be your normal state of mind. When you're not following this, okay, it's abnormal. Of course, the world, we look around us, and it's full of abnormalities of the sort. You wonder who's normal. We're talking about, let's talk about the Buddha's normal. Let's take his standards for what's normal for the mind. Is that we're not harming anybody. We're not harming ourselves. We're not harming other people. Okay, when you've lived your life this way, then when time comes to meditate, it's a lot easier to settle down. Because again, there's not a lot of conflict inside. So if we want to overcome conflict, we do it first by observing the precepts outside and also by get, getting some peace between our body and mind inside. Get to know your breath. Get to know your breath well. Notice what it needs. Okay, you provide what it needs. It's not all that hard. Just give it some attention. Keep the attention. Uh, keep the attention continuous, and you'll find that the breath smooths out. The other parts of the body get nourished as a result, and then you're at peace with yourself, at peace with people around you. If we wait for peace to come in from outside, it'll, we'll wait till our dying day, and it's not going to come because we can't control the activities of other people. As Lumpur always used to say. Each of us has one person in this world. In other words, we have ourselves that we have to look after. If we have children, we look after them up to a point, but you re begin to realize pretty quickly that they have minds of their own. You can't totally control them. But you should be able to exert some control of yourself. If you can can't control yourself, what do you have left? Nothing. So bring some control to the mind. Bring it into peace here with the body, into harmony with the body. As for the world outside, whether it picks up the influence of your goodness, that's up to them. But you do your best to make sure that your goodness inside is solid. <laughs>